Hi guys, Jim here from Main and Suds and Such and Be Scented Fragrance or Supply. I am making um another moonshine soap. This is number three. <laughs> This one is a candy apple. Uh, the company carries three different scents of moonshine or different flavors, not scents. Uh, one is a berry, peach, and apple. So, for this one, I'm going to do a base of green and hopefully a drop swirl of red. Now, I'm adding in my lye. I will hand stir in the fragrance and hand stir in the moonshine after I divide up and do colors. I need a light trace. Probably all the blending I'll do except for the color. So, we'll pour off for the red, or red-ish color. So we'll do our green first, obviously. It's a lighter color. This is green apple mica from Be Scented. get a pretty good red. Um, not with that one, obviously. I'll show you what's on my lip. Well, it's on your leg. What'd you do? How my leg hurt my stretching. How'd you do that? Because I stretched it on a little tiny. A little tiny? Yeah. Oh. It hurts. I bet. Yeah. It's green there last night. Yeah. And the dose that touch me, I stretch it. The dose, the dose that did me, it stretch it. Oh man. The, oh. The mist of the way it stretches it. Oh. The mist. Well, you better watch out. Yeah, the next one we... Okay, in here, I have me. the new Red Rose. It's on the Bee Scented website. It's not our, our old one. It's the new one. I have Red Rose, Wild Strawberry, or it's Red Raspberry, sorry. It used to be called Wild Strawberry. Now it's Red Raspberry. And then the Magic Purple. So, let's hope we get a good, nice red mix with that. Blending colors is not hard. See there? Look at that. Beautiful. The purple just... Purple gives it just that little depth that you need to get a red. Alright, so... Fragrance. Of course, the majority goes in there. Because people, you know, are like, I need a good red. Well, you know, you can make a good red really easily. I just did. Here in just a moment, what I'll do is I will add all of 
the moonshine to both of them. I will only hand stir this color, pour it all in the mold, and then I will stir the other and drop it in. So get the mold ready. This is 5% moonshine for anybody that wants to know. 5% of the recipe. Okay, stir it in nicely if I can get a hold of it. See if we can't get this in and then get the other color dropped down in there. Rest I can save for the top. So let's stir, stir, stir. Don't have much time because the one here in that's already been poured is setting up pretty fast. So I'm pouring from pretty high to get it to drop down in there. Perfect. I definitely would consider this um, an advanced soap making technique because you really got to know your recipe and um, know how it's going to react when you add that much alcohol, that high of a content of alcohol. Which is not too bad. I think this was, I think this moonshine is, it's 42.5% alcohol. That's what it says. So it's not too bad. But you know, it's a lot of alcohol <laughs> to be putting in soap. Now I'm going to use my skewer. Maybe. Let's see. Scrapey, scrapey. Yeah. I think I'm going to use my skewer. One of them I did the skewer, and then another one I did, um, a spoon swirl. You can see how fast this is setting up. We'll do this one like this. The other one I did around in like circles. little bit of gold silver glitter on there and this one's done I'll bring you guys back for the cutting hi guys Jen here I am back to cut the candy apple uh, moonshine soap so I'm just going to this is done in my diamond mold so I only cut an end piece off of one end Oh, look at that. Beautiful. This soap is a couple of days old because I um, just didn't have time. Yesterday, I know, isn't that awful? But I didn't have time to get to them to get them cut. I've just been so slammed with getting ready for my big holiday listing this Friday. And this is Wednesday. I still need to do one more small batch of lotion because um, the last batch that I made, um, I did 50 some bottles 
and I was two bottles short. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? It doesn't matter how much I measure and be accurate. You know, when I'm, it's never, I'm always off by one or two. So, you know, it is what it is. And I know that water evaporates as, you know, you heat it up for lotion making. So, anyways, I got to make a small batch of lotion because I need at least two. So, I'll just make a batch to do just some additional scents. Got the gift boxes. Um, I'm about done wrapping everything, putting everything together that needs to be done for the gift boxes to where like I can start putting them together so they'll be ready. Um, there's no mail today which makes my life easy. I don't have to worry about mail. I did get two soapy orders but I'll pack them later because they can't ship today anyways. So thank you guys for those if you follow me. Um, I love this soap and it smells so yummy. This one turned out fabulous. Alright. Yes, quite fabulous. I hope you guys all are going to join me for my listing. I'm very excited about it. Um, I have a new way of doing my samples, my soap samples. They're a little bit smaller, um, and I'll show you. And the reason being is because, one, I can be able to give you more samples, you know, instead of just... Because a lot of times when you do flat rate, um, or not flat rate, when you do uh, first class, like if you buy one or two soaps, I only have enough weight to add one of these. So I found some cute packaging, and I'm like, you know what, I'll cut them, because a sample is just, it's what it is, a sample, it's a test to see if you like it. So this way, I can do at least two in those, those type of orders. And, um, and then also, I run out of samples so fast. Like, I have people that request if they can buy some of my samples, and I can't keep samples. So this way, cutting them like this, um, I'll show you guys the new packaging. Um, I'm able to do more. But these are the new packages they'll come in. I have to get um, the little label to stick on there still. But as you can see, everybody gets a nice size sample and a cute little bag. Yeah. So anyways, I'll catch you guys on my next video.